What is going on, guys and girls? Welcome back to CK3 as Despot Boss Boris II of Cyprus. We're still trying to fabricate that hook on Maya Callistas of Limassol. He's the one that has, uh, he's our chancellor right now because he blackmailed us to get on to, uh, onto our council. Uh, he knows about our attempted murder of Stephanos. Now, one thing I dislike uh, and I've mentioned this in the last episode as well, is that there's nothing you can really do against someone who has a hook on you. You can't murder them, you can't imprison them. Uh, there's really there's really nothing you can do. And um, so I want to see what happens if I get a hook on him, um, if they cancel each other out. That's my hope. But so far, we've been very unsuccessful um, with, with that scheme. Anyway, um, one other thing I think would be great is if... You know, you could expose... Like, look at this. I can expose the secret of my sister, but I can't expose my own secret, right? Wouldn't that make sense? Like, I just, I don't want to be blackmailed by, by this guy. Um, let's just expose my secret that I killed... That I tried to murder someone. So, like, isn't that, like, maybe better? Again, I'm not saying this is necessarily a, a choice you have to make, but I would like to have the option uh, just to get rid of this. But maybe that would be too easy. Anyway... Um, so yeah, this is something we're going to be dealing with, but there's a lot of other things I wanted to do as well. And um, yeah, your, you people have uh, given me some great ideas in the comment section. Uh, most of you have told me that I should spend my money. Now, granted, I didn't really have that much money before, uh, but I'm going to be spending quite a lot today. So I can assure you that the first thing that people have been telling me is that I should invest more in my holdings. Right now, we only have... Uh, the barony of Nicosia here and I've uh, decided that well we can obviously construct all kinds of new buildings especially the duchy buildings here are very cool but I haven't really decided what I want to go for uh, just now so uh, for now I will simply upgrade what we already have the pasture here uh, it's going to cost quite a lot of money but we'll gain some more tax and some extra levies if we get some homesteads going so let's go ahead uh, it's going to take some two years, but that's okay. Uh, also, uh, the other thing that you guys have mentioned is that I should increase my army. And that makes a lot of sense as well, because especially now that we've lost all the other counties, we are kind of weak. And so I've decided to create a new Mendam's Regiment. And I wanted to go with the armored footmen here, some, you know, tough looking enforcers. That's, that's kind of my idea here. Let's go ahead and create one armored regiment. Uh, it's going to... Yeah, it's going to actually cost us some money now, but that's, yeah, that's okay until they're fully raised. Uh, until they're, like, at full strength, that's what I meant to say. And, um, now we still have 200 gold, right? Because there's one other thing I wanted to do, actually two things. Uh, now, we are a glutton, but we are also arbitrary. Well... That, that, that doesn't actually play into this. What I wanted to say is we're a glutton just like our father. And um, he actually died at the age of 47. There was actually a lot of things I wanted to do as um, as was Boris the first. Um, but he died very young from uh, complications related to obesity. I just think that... Bosporius here might have learned from his father's mistakes a little bit. And so... Um, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and lose some weight. Because here's the thing. You can be a glutton, which means you can eat a lot of food. But we don't have to be obese about it. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like we're going to tr try and start losing some weight here. Uh, just to not die. But we're going to continue to eat as well. At least I'll try and see where this leads us. So here's what I'm going to be doing. We're going to start with this decision. Lose some weight, which is going to give us even more stress. Right now we have... 25 and we'll get this modifier which will give us even more stress in the future um, But yeah, we'll start with this decision and then immediately after I'm gonna start uh, Announcing a new feast which will again make us lose most of our stress here It's gonna also cost a lot of money, but I feel like it only makes sense So we want to we still want to eat but we don't want to be that fat at least we don't want to die uh, that's my idea here. Okay, so I spent basically all of our money. We have a little bit left, and I want to have that as a reserve. And um, we can't really do anything with that, though. We can't hire any mercenary companies right now, which is kind of unfortunate. In fact, I'm somewhat upset 
I found out that our brother, our youngest brother Andronicus, he's actually leading the Armenian band of Lori. And this band is not bad. I mean, they've got some 800 soldiers. And uh, one of the soldiers here, this is actually really cool, at his court is our other uh, landless brother, Basilius. He's part of that mercenary company as well, which I just think is really, really awesome. Plus, I mean, look at this guy. He's a brilliant strategist. He, he would actually really be a good fighter. I would love to have him fight for me. But um, anyway, so I can't hire them. I can't hire this, uh, this mercenary company, which I really think would be awesome. So we could fight with our brothers, even though they don't have any land. And potentially we could even, you know, uh, give them something. You know, we could declare some war and maybe conquer some lands with the help of their troops. And then they could, uh, we could just give the lands to them. But um, yeah, that unfortunately is an option. I still want to go to war. And um, we don't really have any claims. I don't mean to go to war with the Abbasids or the Tulanids. But I saw that our other brother, uh, Dragon, here ruling from Nicopolis, he's our marshal. He has a claim on Shreddits, which is right next door. And we can just declare, well, this is a uh, young boy, eight years old. He does, he is of the Macedon family, so it's the Emperor's house. Um, but um, yeah, he, well, he has got 900 men. He's actually got more men than I do. Plus, he's got a lot of gold. And he has Anatolicon as a ally. And they have another 1,200 men as well. But I think together with our ally, Serbia, who's got 3,000 men, uh, we should be able to destroy them quite easily. So I want to declare this war for our brother's claim. And uh, there we go. Yeah. And so that we can advance our family's prestige. So let's just go ahead, declare the war, call in our ally. And then we'll have to see if we can do this. We're going to... Yeah, it's going to cost some prestige here, but that that is fine. We've declared the war. All oh, right, that was actually one other thing I wanted to do. In fact, there's two more things I wanted to do. Also suggestions from the uh, comment section. Um, since we only have one county, let me do that right now, actually. Since we only have one county... Oh, look at this. It actually shows that we have a feast ongoing. That's awesome. But yeah, um, collecting taxes doesn't really give us much money. And so I want to instead make our brother um, increase development in the county. Because that increasing development here will overall give us more taxes plus levies as well. And so this is just something good to focus on. Plus it's our capital. I feel like it's kind of annoying that Famagusta is more developed than our capital. So definitely that needs to be rectified. Uh, so let's do that here. And yeah, it looks like the development is actually going to increase very soon. Five months are left only. That's awesome. And um, the last thing I wanted to do, I wanted to increase our crown authority here. We can, we currently have autonomous vassals. And if we increase that, it's going to cost a little bit, of, little bit of prestige as well. Then we can actually start revoking titles, uh, retract vassals and all these kinds of things. We didn't really need that previously since we held all the counties ourselves. But uh, now I feel like this makes sense. So let's pass that law. Awesome. And, uh... Okay, so they didn't get to choose. Apparently they didn't get to have... They didn't have a vote in, in that. Okay, that seems fine. Anyway, um... I'm gonna go ahead. Now here's the thing. I... I will actually move forward in time just to see what happens. Um... We have our cheery gathering that begins here. And Shreddits hasn't done anything yet. I wanted to call you in. Have I called you in? Call to war. There we go. It's going to cost another 300 prestige, but I feel like it's definitely worth it. And yeah, okay. So he raised his men, or he's about to. We can raise our troops here in Nicopolis, but the thing is, I'm unsure what Anatolicon is going to do. And they're very close to us, so I'd rather have... I'd rather probably raise my troops here. They haven't joined the war yet. Uh, there is Serbia. 2,000 men. And there they have now joined and they're raising their troops. Okay, so here's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to... I'm going to actually... Hmm. I'm going to raise my troops here. 
And... Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. How they got up. How he's gathering them. That's so, That looks so awesome. I love that. Cool. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. We've, we have our troops waiting in the capital because obviously I don't want them to just rush uh, Nicosia and capture me while I'm feasting. Anyway, um, Voracious. With the continual serving of delicious foods, most guests have given up eating for the night, simply enjoying the entertainment. I am happy to see that Prince Andronikos knows better. He and I are both eager to taste as long as there is food. Together we could eat an entire horse, or we can try to out-eat him. Uh, I don't really want to do this right now. We are trying to lose some weight, so there's no need to do that. I think we can just enjoy our time with Andronikos. Then again, it would be awesome if if I could hire him, actually. That would really be nice. That was a way. Anyway. Uh, that's what's going on for now. These guys are actually coming. Yeah. Disaster strikes. Oh no, the wine has dwindled. Okay, um, we can get the Fought Thirst modifier, giving us prestige. Plus people will like us and we're gonna lose money. We're actually losing money right now and we don't have that much. Or we all have to pitch in, come on now. So we're gonna spend some prestige. I think that's actually the way to go. I'll spend some prestige, we'll get a little bit of gold. Uh, just because we're at war, I feel like this is a good idea. Um, and either way, the wine will flow, so it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, let's move on forward. Yeah, I think they're coming straight for us. Okay. And as my guests depart, with everyone headed for their respective homes, I am proud to say the feast was a success. Until next time. We are now the an eager reveler. Oh, that is... That is... That is very cool. Plus two diplomacy, one intrigue, and yeah, a new lifestyle. Bosporius has sampled the intoxicating life of carousing and debauchery and is hungry for more. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, as I said, um, it, it's not really, uh, it's, I don't think it's really an issue to be both a glutton uh, and even a eager reveler and at the same time trying to lose weight. I think that's perfectly possible. And yeah, anyway, we'll move on forward to continue with this war. Uh, we have gathered our troops. What's going on here? Okay, so they are probably going to besiege Nicopolis, which I don't have an issue with. We can really go faster. And uh, I think Serbia is going to besiege the war goal. At least, I hope so. Okay, so they're really going on to the boats. I think we're just going to expect them here. Yeah. Okay, they're actually coming. Interesting. And they're going to land. Better army commanders, more army commander traits, more soldiers, more men-at-arms. Counter. What do they even have? 400 pikemen. Wait, what? They have light infantry, pikemen, and 7 heterie. Hmm. I Can I switch the commander? I could actually lead personally. Do I want to do this or do I want to have my brother? Um, Marshal? Do I not have anyone better? Apparently not. Holy warrior. If I lead this, mm, do I want to lead troops personally? Um, that might actually be a good idea. Um, hmm. You know, I think I will. It's giving us a little bit more bonuses. Although I guess we could just get captured, but I don't know. I guess we can get captured either way. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. And, um... Okay, so we've been attacked immediately. We have a 22 advantage. So why is this? Uh, yeah, plus 13. And then opponent is recently disembarked minus 30. Okay, they have a lot more troops as well. So what do we do? We do 44% more damage. Mm, but we counter them. Yeah, we counter their pikemen. And our light horsemen are fighting in favorable terrain. Deals 8% more damage due to being countered. Oh no. 
50, 55% damage. 10% damage. Oh, they're countering us as well? Damn, okay, that's actually kind of annoying. Hmm. Okay, well, our advantage is very high though. Now it's only 10. What of our valiant soldiers managed to main the enemy Heteria Philateros? Okay, but this still doesn't look very good. Our advantage has shifted significantly. Okay, now it's 21 again. Our Heteria Valerios was slain by Count Lucianos. And Sergios. Okay, there's a lot of our Heteria fighting. I think we still have a chance. Here. Yeah. Okay, I think, yeah, we're gonna lose. Our Terrier, Maya Callistus was wounded. Well, that's... Well, that's one way to get rid of him, right? Yeah, he's now wounded. I mean, he could die and take our um, secret to, to, to his grave. That would be awesome. But I think we are just going to lose this battle here. And Callistus wounded um, Justizianos. He is gout ridden wounded. Hunchback. Commander. I mean, it would be awesome if we could just kill him. But I don't think that's going to be happening. Uh, I want to click on the battle. There you go. Okay, yeah, I think we're, we're losing. I just hope we're not going to get captured here. Which could happen. Our Terrier Zenankatas was slain. My brother, hold on, um, Prince Dragon was taken by our foe, Duke Photius. Okay. Um, but we were not captured, and that's really what matters. Enemy ally joins the war. Oh. Wait, did this guy just die? No. Okay, maybe this was an older message I just didn't see. Okay, anyway. So, I, th I still think we fought quite well, all things considered. Nicosia is now under siege. But, um, we got out of here. And we... So now if they siege Nicosia, we are leading troops. That was kind of my plan, because I was expecting them to do this. And now... Oh, they're going to try and hunt us down. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder if I can just dis disembark in time. Because then, there's not really much they can do. Oh, no. He's gonna... He's gonna catch me. Really? Uh, that sucks. How's the war going? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Just siege this. You idiot. You absolute fool. Yeah, so he's now... Oh, I don't even know what he's trying to do. But this is super stupid. Uh, we don't have a marshal at the moment. Um, Prince Leon, guest, a famous reveler. Oh, interesting. So this has tears as well. We could invite him. Hmm. Uh, I guess we're just going to wait for our brother to be back. But yeah, so this is annoying. I can't disband them. How did they catch me so fast? It's kind of annoying. How did this go, by the way? We lost two... Actually, look at this. We... We suffered the same amount of losses. Plus, this dude was wounded. He's just so good. He's an excellent commander. We are defending in mountains, though. It still says we'll lose decisively. Count Eustisianos is still leading. Wasn't he... How is he not wounded anymore? That's kind of annoying. Um, hmm. That seems kind of strange. Uh, let's check the details, though. So, yeah, he was wounded. No, hold on. Oh, there's two used to use... No, this is this guy. Was wounded in the battle. One of ours was killed. The other one captured. Prince Dragon. Um... Oh, and he was killed as well. Damn. Uh, this is actually not good. So how many Heteria do I have? Seven out of eight. Hmm. And some of them are very bad. 
Komitas, you should probably not lead men. And you're pretty bad as well. The court physician. You don't need to lead troops. Um, we do have some guests here. Antonius. He is an aspiring blade master. Can I recruit to court 100 gold? No, I cannot. Well, this is an issue. Hmm. We have five Hiteria, they have got seven. And they're just countering us so hard. Well, we'll see what happens. Now we only have an advantage of four. Defending in mountains plus 12. It's just their skill. This is just our problem. Yeah, you're, and, and we're just being countered very badly. Anyway, okay, so we'll just move on for we'll see what happens. Oof. Maya Callistus was maimed. Well, that's good news. That's the only good thing about all of this. Um, but yeah, we are losing all our Heteria here. Our Heteria Prince Michael was maimed. Okay, all kinds of things are happening. We still have some decent... We still deal decent damage to them. I just hope we're not going to get caught. That would be the biggest issue. Okay, our cool position. Is that mine? Yeah, okay, he's now a novice physician. That's very good. Alright. Wow, he's got 29 learning. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, so this battle us. I just hope I'm not going to get caught. Mayor Callistus was maimed. Okay. Well, it could have one good thing here. So what about this? Are we... Okay. So... Euphemius was slain. Allied combatants. Okay, so I lost this dude. He was actually... We, we lost all of our good fighters. That's the problem. Um... Your knowledge has increased. Allied combatants captured. Now, my other brother. Two of my brothers are captured already. He was maimed as well. But what about this Eustisianos there? Um, isn't he like... Oh, no, that's not, that's not him. It's his vassal, I think. But yeah, okay. But we haven't been captured yet, so that's that's all good. That's all good. Let's uh, check out this battle, though. Um, yeah, now we actually had more losses as well. Um, this guy? Oh, but this guy was killed. Maya Callistus killed Count Theodotus, who was a very good fighter as well. I mean, he just overall has much more, much better fighters. And Callistus is now disfigured one leg. Wow, he got cut to pieces there. Damn. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, again, as I said, this might be one way to get rid of him. <laughs> okay, so I have now two empty council positions because my brothers have been removed. All right. Um, well, we have our allies sailing and our enemies as well. I hope Serbia can deal with this. Now I'm not so sure anymore because we did deal some damage, but we obviously lost a lot of troops as well. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.